Hi everybody, welcome to another gaming test video as requested. We have our 2020 HP laptop and we are testing Dead for Daylight. So it does have an AMD Athlon Silver 3050U with Radeon graphics. So it does have 2GB of dedicated GPU memory and 15GB of shared GPU memory. Memory is 27.4GB available. So this is version 4.2.0 as requested. So yeah, also apologies for the um, black tiling on the top and bottom of the screen. The reason why is my capture card did not have a 1366x768 uh, setting. It only had a 720p and the, the resolution of the monitor is 1366x768. Uh, just letting you know the gameplay was full screen on the laptop. It's just on the capture card it wasn't. So first test was on ultra, resolution 3%. So I did notice based on this test, uh, the higher the resolution, the more you're going to be using the CPU. In my opinion, you couldn't tell, you can't really tell much of a difference in terms of the resolution wise. So like resolution at 3%, I've been running ultra, so it turned out pretty good. I mean, the CPU did reach the 90s, 100% a couple of times, but not so much. It was mostly in the 40s and 50%. GPU, you're looking at about 1.5 gigabytes of usage during gameplay. With other players, uh, RAM was about 5.3 gigabytes and FPS was like 15. Um, I did not do a test in uh, high. I did a test in ultra, medium, and low. So to be honest, you won't notice much of a difference even if you played it on low. Uh, as someone did suggest it in the comments, big shout out to the comments again. Uh, resolution put it to like nine or ten percent, and you should be good. Uh, you know, you can play it on low quality, and you know, you won't notice much of a difference. And I'll show you guys footage of that as well. You know, I still got spooked a few times because, you know, the guys chasing you do surprise you, but I do have better game footage this time. So a lot more action. I was even able to save, uh, you know, unhook a couple of uh, teammates. But uh, most of the time, though, I pretty much got hooked and I got eliminated. So I did go through the training again, too, and I'm actually surprised that you know, I need to learn. Uh, I need to learn like more advanced techniques and stuff to win, because uh, the basic training and stuff is good for the basic controls. But like, there's got to be some kind of there's got to be different techniques how to uh, survive and stuff and escape. So as you can see, the RAM was pretty much just five point three percent most of the time, and CPU actually held up really good. So the game was not as hardware intensive as I thought. But in my opinion, I would go quality low resolution like 9 or 10% as somebody suggested in the comments. So as you can see here, I was even re able to rescue a couple of my teammates. Oh yeah, here it is. So I was able to rescue my teammate right here. Yeah, usually when I'm playing Dead for Daylight now, I have to use headphones just to make sure I can hear the uh, the... You know, the guy that's catching you. Boom, he got me. I think I got hung like three times. I was an easy target, I guess. Yeah, this guy with the screen mask is just so quick. One of the quick ones. You know, oh yeah, here, I even got rescued. <laughs> just about, you know, just as I was about to go under. So the next test was on medium. I did resolution 10%. So this is, I guess, in Lampkin Lane, hat on field. Uh, the tests turned out pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm starting to get familiar with the different stages. So here, I was able to pick up a med kit this time. Unfortunately, like for the three games that I played, I wasn't able to um, fix a generator completely. You know, I did get better with the skill checks though in the uh, training, and I was finally able to pick up one of these med kits, which is uh, surprising. So FPS at medium resolution, ten percent was actually in the thirties, thirty-one, thirty-two, and RAM was about five point two gigabytes. 
GPU is being used more in CPU as well on this medium test. I think the higher the resolution, the more you're going to be using the CPU and GPU. So you're looking at the 85, 90%, and you know RAM was 5.2, FPS was 34 though, so definitely higher than Ultra. And yeah, I mean I didn't notice a major difference between medium and ultra so if it was me i'd totally go with low but i'll show you guys footage of that later yeah this thing still gives me the creeps All right, let's see if I was able to sneak around here. Yeah, I can't remember if, if I was able to unhook my uh, teammate. Nice. Yeah, I was able to unhook my teammate for this time. And then let's see. Oh yeah, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> that really spooked me though. I kind of, I kind of like completely surprised me. But yeah, my teammates were actually pretty good. They were able to repair a few generators and stuff. Yep, and I got destroyed here. All right. So for the third and final test, I went with low resolution 5%. So the result for this much was much better. Uh, Dead Dog Saloon, I guess, Grave of Glenvale. FPS was starting off in the 40s right off the bat, and then RAM usage was actually less at 4.8 gigabytes. And CPU though was still being used in the 90s and 100%. Um, and then GPU was 90%, so 90% out of two gigabytes. So you know it really surprised me that the CPU usage was a uh, higher for the low test. You know, but I think it might have thing, something to do with the environment too, the stage. It looks more like complex. But overall, I'd have to say that I didn't even notice any studying for all three tests. You know, even though I did the training, I didn't put any footage because this video is uh, pretty long. Oh yeah, I screwed up the skill check for the uh, generator repair there and I had to make a run for it. And yeah, this, this was a spooky one because, you know, I forgot what this guy was, but he's like a floating thing. Yeah, this one scared me completely. Yeah, I didn't last long against uh, this um, this killer guy, the hunter. See, FPS, 38, you know, 40, GPU, 81%, CPU at 100%. I'm sure there's a few things you could do to improve the uh, gameplay. But uh, overall, I'd have to say Dead for Daylight, this computer can definitely run it with the RAM and CPU upgrades. And I have to say, it was actually a lot of fun. So I didn't enjoy the game more. I'm still pretty scared, but it is what it is. So, oh, they actually rescued me on this one.
but they caught it got caught again but yeah that is pretty much all i have for this video thank you everybody for watching take it easy